Hi there. Today's lesson, a very exciting lesson today. I'm going to be teaching you your first passion in the key of A. Um, key of A is very popular. We've got our A chord. We've got our D. And E. A. And you've got the extra sharp minor. So that's a really popular key. So what we're going to do, we want to learn how to do a little bit of soloing in the key of A major, which is also F sharp minor. Okay, important to remember that. Um, doesn't have to just be soloing, it could be you making a, a few riffs. Uh, in order to do that, you need to know which notes are correct, which notes are in the key, and then you can do that really easy. So here it is, the pattern that you see it on the screen. Now to do this, very important, you've got to use the right fingers. Because if you use the wrong fingers, you're never going to get any good at it. Okay, so for the F sharp, first finger, second finger, third finger, pinky. For the G sharp, third finger. For the fifth fret, the A, you need your pinky. You see that configuration? The middle finger's not being that configuration, the middle finger is not being used. Now that configuration you take to, so it's 2, 4, 5, 2, 4, 5, 2, 4. Notice, notice the fingers which I'm using. It's very important to use the right fingers. Okay, now we're going to go G sharp A. B. You see now, this finger is not being used. That configuration is at the next one, C sharp, D and E. That finger is not used. Now we're back to the configuration we had at first, F sharp, G sharp, A. So watch this. Again. Come back. Go up. Now I suggest you become very familiar with that, learn to do it without even thinking. You want to get to the place where you just know it without actually having to worry about what comes next. The nice thing about this pattern, it's at 2, the 2nd fret, the F sharp. 14 is also an F sharp. 14th fret, you can play it at 14 as well. The same pattern, the same fingers. <laughs> So what you're going to do with this passion is um, anything you like, any order, any configuration, learn to play the notes. We're in the key of F sharp minor or A. So whenever you have a chord progression in the key of A or F sharp minor, you can whip out this pattern. <laughs> be good. You'll be playing beautiful music. You can look on YouTube, 
backing track in the key of A minor, backing track in the key of F sharp minor. Just let that play and play the pattern and you'll find it sounds really musical. <laughs> It's also going to work in the key of E minor because it's E minor and it makes a Lydian mode. But that's a little bit more advanced. But within this, there is just so much that you're learning that you don't even know you're learning. By learning this pattern, you've inadvertently learned the pentatonic scale. You just need to drop off the G sharp and, and the D. Drop all D. G sharps and D's and you got the pentatonic. Don't only learn the pentatonic, learn this full pattern. It will be much will beneficial, uh, very beneficial for you later because else you just get stuck in what they call stuck in a box. You don't want to be stuck in the box of the pentatonic scales. They're too boring and you'll, you'll just end up sounding the same all the time, playing the same thing all the time. With these extended patterns, uh, so much more, so much more is available to you. Within them is all your arpeggios in the key of A major. That's another story. So there's just so much to know just from this little pattern. <laughs> Same pattern. Just do learn to do the pattern. One string at a time. Third string. Second string. First string. So much fun. So much to learn. So many possibilities. Great pattern to know. Alrighty, cool. That's pattern number 105 in the key of A major.